I am very glad to have the opportunity to co-host today the important conference on connectivity between the European Union and Central Asia. This is another great opportunity to give a new impetus to the European Union Central Asia cooperation and increase the relations among these two regions. Yesterday we exchanged at the annual European Union Central Asia ministerial meeting, if I can say at the political level. And today at this conference we brought the issue at the economic level. Our purpose is to bring closer Europe and Central Asia. To bring closer using what we call uh, Team Europe, which is a consolidated action of the member states of the European Union, its institutions and our financial capacities. We understand better the enormous potential of our relation. You are already, the region, a significant part of our energy imports. And this will increase in the future. We plan to increase our investment in infrastructure and connectivity around the world through this idea of a global gateway to an amount until 2027, it means on the next four years, of about 300 billion euros. And Central Asia must be part of this effort. So I am glad to announce today that we are launching two Team Europe initiatives in Central Asia. I'd like to be concrete to set up both the green and digital agenda. First, and we know how important it is, water. Water, energy, and climate change, both things go together. An initiative on water and climate and energy that will contribute to managing one of the most important resources of the region, water, and energy resources sustainable, addressing environmental challenges and tackling climate change. And the second one is uh, our initiative on digital connectivity that will enhance Central Asia access to the global internet through sat satellite connectivity. More and more, the outer space will be the new field of development of telecommunications. We cannot expect to send a cable. There is a space, there is the satellite. This is the best way of connecting people. Power politics is on the rise globally, and the system of international rules and law is being tested and undermined. And we have to work together on defending this multilateral system. Let me say that without uh, international law, we cannot engage in trade. When we talk about uh, our mutual connectivity, let me say that it's not at the expense of, of other connections. It will reinforce and complement those other connections already existing. We have a, an enormous potential, and we will walk the path to grow and prosperity that has to be fair, secure, green, and sustainable.